Deuteronomy chapter 29. These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moshe to make with the children of Yisrael in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moshe called to all Yisrael and said to them, Ye have seen all that Yahweh did before your eyes in the land of Mithraim to Paro, and to all his servants, and to all his land, the great trials which thy eyes saw, the signs, and those great wonders. But Yahweh hath not given you a heart to know, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, to this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not become old upon you, and thy shoe is not become old upon thy foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink, that ye may know that I am Yahweh your God. And when ye came to this place, Sihon, the king of Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us to battle, and we smote them, and we took their land, and gave it for an inheritance to the Rubenim, and to the Gadim, and to the half-tribe of the Manashim. Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do them, that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Ye stand this day, all of you, before Yahweh your God, your heads, your tribes, your elders, and your officers, even all the men of Yisrael, your little ones, your women, and thy sojourner that is in the midst of thy camps, from the hewer of thy wood to the drawer of thy water, that thou mayest enter into the covenant of Yahweh thy God and into his oath, which Yahweh thy God maketh with thee this day, that he may establish thee this day to himself for a people, and that he may be to thee a God, as he spoke to thee, and as he swore an oath to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Yishak, and to Jacob. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here with us this day before Yahweh our God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know how we dwelt in the land of Mithraim, and how we came through the midst of the nations through which ye passed. And ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them, lest there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe, whose heart turneth away this day from Yahweh our God, to go to serve the gods of those nations, lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood, and it be, when he heareth the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart, to destroy the moist with the dry. Yahweh will not pardon him, but then the anger of Yahweh and his jealousy will smoke against that man, and all the curse that is written in this book shall lie upon him and Yahweh will blot out his name from under skies, and Yahweh will set him apart to evil out of all the tribes of Yisrael, according to all the curses of the covenant that is written in this book of the law. And the generation to come, your children that shall rise up after you, and the foreigner that shall come from a far land shall say, when they see the plagues of that land, and the sicknesses wherewith Yahweh hath made it sick, and that the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and a burning, that it is not sown, nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein, 
like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah at Ma and Zaboyim, which Yahweh overthrew in his anger and in his wrath, even all the nations shall say, For what reason hath Yahweh done thus to this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they forsook the covenant of Yahweh, the God of their fathers, which he made with them, when he brought them forth out of the land of Mithraim, and went and served other gods, and worshipped them, gods that they knew not, and that he had not given to them. Therefore the anger of Yahweh was kindled against this land, to bring upon it all the curse that is written in this book. And Yahweh rooted them out of their land in anger, and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, as at this day. The secret things belong to Yahweh our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law.